Hello, uh, I just wanted to show you uh, Kikusui COS5020 storage oscilloscope which I picked up when I uh, got a COS5060 working oscilloscope. This is actually uh, a broken one that the owner let go uh, because there were some issues with it and I thought maybe I could try to resurrect it and I'm posting a video here just to show you the symptoms of how it's working and try to narrow down what the problem may be. So I'm going to turn it on and uh, you'll notice uh, it power up. It takes a little time but uh, there we go. I'm just turning up the intensity and what you'll see are two dots. Now that's uh, essentially my channel 1 here and this is channel 2. Uh, let me just I'll explain what this is in a moment uh, but uh, I just want to, to show you exactly what's happening here. The um, one thing that I noticed is the illumination is not working so the bulb I believe or some circuit that illuminates the graticule is not working um, maybe there's a simple fix there uh, could be a, a filament that I can uh, or a light light bulb that I can change so I'd like to see if maybe that's an easy replacement I'm missing a knob on my focus but that's fine it still focuses fairly well um, I'm not sure it doesn't go beyond focus like it doesn't sharpen up and then go blurry again it just goes from blurry to as sharp as it possibly can go so that worries me a bit it might need to get um, calibrated or there might be an, a knob on the inside uh, or, or a, a, a small pot that will let me change it because the focus doesn't center I like it to be out of focus here focused here and then out of focus the other way so I have a range I can go beyond and adjust so back to the intensity let me just show you what's happening. I'm putting just channel 1 on and that's coming off of my calibration uh, which is a square wave. So you just essentially see two dots. Why is that? Because it's not sweeping at all. It's just going up, down, up, down, up, down and it's not having any horizontal sweep. The time base setting does not work at all as you can see. No function. However, you'll notice that I can move my position across. So if I go fast enough you may actually see the square and if I turn it off uh, for a moment there you'll see the square pattern watch this you see that here we go again see it's a square so um, somehow it is amplifying the signal and it's displaying it and this you know of course the gain uh, is working well there's grounded and there's DC and there's ground and then there's AC so it is finding that uh, component uh, both channels are working but like I said it's just not horizontally sweeping whatsoever yet I the tube seems to be working because I can move across uh, what's interesting to note is it doesn't go beyond center so here's the center point of the screen if I turn the knob all the way over I get off the screen but if I go back this way I can get to the center only which makes me wonder why I can't keep pushing it over um, you know is the coil essentially just working to pull the signal one way and not the other way at all. Now the interesting thing is as soon as I use this pull out I can get it beyond to there. That's the magnification. Um, so I'm not really sure why that happens. Uh, but anyway, it goes to the middle only. And uh, I figure if it is sweeping, if it does go from here across, then that would make sense because really the center of the knob, which is here, would start at this end of the screen and it would sweep across. I can go there or there to the right end or left end and then if I keep turning I go way beyond the screen so it looks like there's some kind of a, um, a voltage that's supposed to drive this over to the right and that's why you know the center position here it starts there but there's nothing pulling it over to the right the sweep is not functioning um, now I'm gonna switch over to channel 2 okay that's channel 2 and it happens to be coming off of the Gabotronics, it's a sine wave that I input. You'll notice now that there's a smooth, continuous uh, line versus channel one, which is two dots because uh, it just qu the square wave goes abruptly from from the zero to I believe it's two volts for this uh, calibration signal. Let me go back to the sine, okay? And I'm gonna I'm gonna reduce the frequency. 
as much as I can on the Gabotronics and I can go here into settings um, here you'll notice if I go to square wave you get the two dots again just have to change the intensity there that's square wave there's sine and triangle of course okay so let's go back to sine wave and I'm going to reduce my frequency it's at 1.655 kilohertz so I'm gonna reduce that and you can see here I'm reducing it at least I'm trying to oh there it goes it's going really really low it's now at 44 Hertz okay here I'll reduce it some more there is a I believe we can get down even to five okay there we go all right so I've lowered the sine wave to um, about five Hertz I'm just going to increase the amplitude here you can see it wiggling I can change my intensity so again deflection um, you know in illumination knob not working hopefully it's just a bulb uh, my focus has to have some internal adjustment I hope that will let it uh, work better and uh, there's the sign if I um, if I change my position you know abruptly you can see that it's a sign and um, so once again sweep just does not seem to work don't know why if I put it into XY mode I thought maybe I could have you know with a sign and a square it should hopefully show us something some interesting pattern if I get it into XY but I just this thing doesn't work this whole knob assembly somehow I'm not able to turn this over and get XY here and that's why you know when I'm in XY mode here uh, as far as I understand it should show me something uh, but it's not there's dual um, so we have the sign working and you can see obviously it's not exactly calibrated here I'm not sure if the voltage signals are the same uh, I'm not sh I don't even know the amplitude I set for my sign to be honest so that doesn't really matter um, and once again not really sure why it's not sweeping at all and why I do not get any kind of um, as far as I'm concerned XY mode there's no horizontal deflection whatsoever except for the positioning circuit I have no XY functioning at all um, and this knob does not you know that mode there which is supposed to be XY mode doesn't seem to be doing anything uh, interestingly with the storage function it's also a little bit strange uh, sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't uh, when I have the storage function working I can almost use it like an etch-a-sketch I can move up and down and it'll trace and record in, uh, information on the screen uh, because I guess it goes into using special layer of phosphors that uh, remains illuminated for many hours so I'm going to try to get that function working um, and again I don't know the principle behind how it works so if anyone knows well, how I can get the storage function working it was working for a while and um, now it stopped when I opened up the board unplugged a few things and then plugged it in it worked again so not really sure what's happening there and why it's sporadic but something in it is not uh, is not consistent so I'd like to troubleshoot this and uh, hopefully uh, figure out how to get it to sweep I'm hoping that because it powers up and we have a signal and we have good amplifications on the front end again um, and we can see most of it that you know I can fix up the illumination quite easily that I can ca get the focus uh, maybe there's a trimmer inside that I can make that work better and get this whole sweep uh, generator functioning so if you have any suggestions on, on where to start uh, or comments uh, please let me know. I uh, thank you again for any help and I'll be doing um, a series of videos based on this oscilloscope 
as I make progress, uh, I'm going to post and make videos about uh, what ended up happening. So hopefully, um, with some luck, I'll get this thing working again. Thank you very much. Take care now.